Hey everyone, um, oops, this is a bit of a mea culpa, um, I messed up and, uh, I have to apologize, uh, for, uh, fail failing to give credit where credit is due. I uh, did a, uh, comic, this anti-war comic, it's about, um, uh, Korean, uh, South Korean prostitution, this is here on the web comic factory, it's about two weeks ago. And uh, it was based on an article written in the New Republic by Tim Chirac, who called me out, rightly so. And uh, he did this great article all about, it's called Welcome to the Monkey House, Confronting the Ugly Legacy of Military Prostitution in South Korea. And uh, it's an amazing article. I read it on my phone. I couldn't put it down. And uh, I knew immediately that I had to do it for the anti-war comic but I failed to post the link and give him proper credit so in way of apology there's this I apologized on the website I apologized on Twitter um, yeah I mean I don't have an excuse for that 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 that's a bad that's my bad I'm very sorry Tim and I feel awful about it but I did want to talk about it a little about why I posted it and, um, you know not not giving you an excuse but I I just sometimes get lazy i had intended to give you credit and uh, you know i sometimes i intend to give credit within the comic and then i end up editing things because the artwork maybe is a little too tight for all the words and then i forgot so i again i really apologize um you know it's something i will be much better with in the future and uh but i will say you know, it, part of doing the anti-war comic for years, for me, has been uh, doing history type things and uh, and doing stuff like I uh, I did a comic on the atrocities of the of the Japanese during World War II, and uh, there was uh, a specific division in the Japanese Imperial Army that did horrible experiments on people, and. It was known to a lot of people, but not to me. Like, I just hadn't known about it. So I went online and read about it. And, um, you know, when you read about historical stuff, you realize lots of people have reported on it. You're kind of behind the curve. So this that was part of the reason uh, I, uh, that I probably forgot, too, is because sometimes when you do these things, you, you, you think of them as being historic and something that basically everyone knew but you until you read it. Again, I'm not trying to make an excuse here. I, I'm just sort of giving you the context. I, I do apologize, and it was wrong of me not to link you anyway, because this article was recent and was the inspiration for the comic. So, um, and it is uh, an issue that I feel very strongly about anti-war, and I've talked about it. So, I mean, this article really brings to light one of the down the stream uh, reasons why you know, war is so bad, right? You with me, Joan? I don't mean to make light of it, but I, I did set up the Joan cam. Anyhow, um, the, the, the down the stream stuff is stuff, you know, you can argue that, well, you know, communism is really bad and the United States got involved with the Korean War because we saved South Korea. There's a, a bit of an argument there, but there's always down the stream consequences and this is one of them and, and that's not to say that america's bad you know everything that america does is bad that's not what anti-war is about being anti-war just means you know did we have to do this at all um because when you you look at the bigger picture let's say the soviet union is an empire or was and was constantly expanding and it threatened us and all that kind of stuff but um you know, to a large extent, the Korean Peninsula is not our problem, you know. So you could imagine a world in which the United States looked at the problems happening on the South Korean or the Korean Peninsula and just said, you know, that's that's unfortunate, but it's not our problem. And yes, the Soviets probably would have rolled in and taken the whole peninsula. Um, and there might have been people in South Korea or all over Korea saying, please, please help us. Um, I think had the Soviets done that and had we stayed out of it, the first thing that would have happened is 
the Americans who died in the Korean War would not, would not have died. So we would have been saving those people, if you're thinking in terms of an alternate universe. The, the second thing is that, yes, Koreans still would have died. I don't think as many North and South Koreans would have died. Um, certainly, terrible things would have happened. The Soviets are, were terrible you know, communism's terrible and there's gulags and all sorts of awful things. However, I think it would have stretched their resources even thinner than they were. And uh, they would have been responsible for controlling the whole peninsula, peninsula, which would have been very difficult. It was already difficult for the Soviets to control the vast swaths of land that they had. And I think there would have been a resistance, a homegrown resistance, you know, we we propped up the South Korean government, but it was very corrupt early on. Now, maybe it's not, not so much, but... Um, so, it would have been... It would have drained more resources from the Soviet Union, and in the long run, they would have collapsed sooner. So, you know, and because we never entered into the Korean War, it's likely we would have ignored Vietnam as well. And by ignoring those two fronts, we would have saved the lives of hundreds of thousands of our own people, not to mention millions and millions of dollars in, in resources that would have been applied here to make us more advanced and, and more prosperous, while the Soviets would be stretched thinner and thinner and thinner. So you can imagine an alternate universe in which the Soviet Union collapses in the early 70s rather than the mid-80s, you know? Um, and that uh, because we minded our own business, we have hundreds of thousands of more people who never died. We would have, we wouldn't have, um, you know, a lot of uh, veterans who were, you know, there were a lot of veterans who came out of the, certainly the Vietnam War. I'm sure the Korean War as well, who who had all sorts of problems, and we wouldn't have those people wouldn't have had problems, and um, the VA system wouldn't have been overwrought. Um, and we would have all those resources and people. Yes, there would have been death and destruction from the Soviets, but possibly not even as much, you know. Possibly it would have been, since it wouldn't have been a war, or, or it would have been a war against the Soviets, uh, these resistant groups would spring up on their own, and, uh, you know, not to say that we wouldn't have done something, that we wouldn't have had still had the CIA, or, you know, been secretly sending a little money overseas, but I think overall we would we would benefit and the world would benefit because the Soviet Union probably would have collapsed that much sooner. I think if the Soviet Union collapsed ten years earlier um, and fewer people died in the in the bigger picture, I think we all would have been ahead. So, you know, that's part of the reason I like to point out stuff like this in the anti-war comic and uh, to, to bring this to light so people think twice before supporting these ridiculous wars overseas. So anyhow, just to wrap up a rather serious video, um, I, uh, again, I apologize to Tim, uh, won't happen again. Um, and uh, I, I, I meant nothing by it, I, I, I merely wanted to, you know, show people what you're showing people. I'm happy to give you uh, credit and uh, uh, thanks for calling me out. I, I, I sometimes mess up. I'm, I'm not perfect. I've made a lot of mistakes on this channel and uh, I get things wrong all the time. But uh, I am trying to do better. So I, uh, I, I appreciate your time and your talent and I recommend everybody to go to The New Republic and read Welcome to the Monkey House. So uh, you can see the article for yourself. Thank you.